Okay, in this tutorial we're just going to talk really quickly about the T-square itself. Um, you can see here I have a metal T-square and uh, this is a metal T-square I got in, when I was in college and it'll probably outlive me. But um, uh, basically T-square is used for you to draw your horizontal lines. And um, I'll show you guys in another tutorial when we talk about inking straight lines. Um, that there's a right way and wrong way to do that as well, but um, you can just you basically use your pencils. Uh, but you can draw horizontal lines, but with a triangle set on top of it, you use to draw your vertical lines and with an adjustable triangle, which we'll talk about in another tutorial uh, about your triangles. Uh, you can draw angled lines as well, and you really need your T-squares and your triangles when you're drawing perspective. We'll talk about that in a perspective tutorial. Um, but uh, pretty much, um, I recommend metal um, T-squares, and uh, you're going to want to kind of keep the, if you draw with them a lot, keep the backs kind of clean. You can clean them off with just, you know, alcohol wipes or, you know, soap and water, uh, just so that your page doesn't get uh, dirty. And I always recommend if you're going to be drawing, um, like I have since uh, uh, 1989, uh, you're going to want to use these because uh, they'll last your lifetime. The plastic ones get nicked and dinged up a lot, and once those plastic ones get uh, chipped or dinged, it's always going to create a little divot when you try to draw your straight line. And the little mini plastic ones, I've seen little mini plastic ones, I see them break all the time. They're always going to break in your bags and stuff like that when you try to travel with them, whereas these guys, again, the, the most that will probably break off is uh, the, the cap. And you really got to try hard to kind of break that. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much your T-squares.